Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Sorry it's been so long since my last video, but I'm now back to show you how to create one of these avatar-like vectors that you see on so many websites these days. This tutorial will show you how to make the basic shape of the avatar, so the head and the torso, and later videos will show you how to create hair, change the outfit, and make the avatar look more feminine. So this is a great point to get started for you. We're going to begin with an artboard that's 1920 by 1080 pixels and two skin tones. Here we have a white skin tone and a black skin tone and also a t-shirt color. So these colors, you can edit them as you wish. They're gonna be in the description below. All right, now I'm gonna select my t-shirt color and we're gonna start making the torso. So I'm just gonna zoom in right here and now I'm gonna press M, click once, and I'm gonna create our first rectangle. It's gonna be 90 by 40 pixels, press OK, good. Then I'm gonna create a second rectangle on top of it. It's going to be 120 by 40 pixels, press OK. And then I'm gonna select the third right up here and it's going to be 44 by 25, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna select all of these right here and I want them to be aligned like this. So I'm gonna do horizontal align center and I'm just gonna move them so they touch. So duck and duck like this. Now selecting this middle point, I'm gonna press A, which is the direct select key, select this anchor right here, click and bring it into here. I'm just holding shift as I move it to here and select this, hold shift, bring it into here. And same deal here, I'm gonna select this box right here. I'm gonna press A and I'm gonna move it up to here, okay? So this is the shape of the torso. We're gonna round these edges so it looks more natural a bit later. Okay, having done that, now we're going to select our skin tone that we wanna work with and we're gonna make the head. It's really simple, press L, that's your oval button, click and create an ellipse that's 60 by 80, as it says right here. Press OK, and then you have your head. So the head looks really big right now, but actually it's quite well proportioned. It's crazy to think that way. Okay, now having done that, we're going to put this piece right here above here by a certain amount. You can adjust, this is gonna be the net, uh, sorry, the neck length. <laughs> so I'm gonna create a little guide box. I'm gonna press M, click right here, and I'm gonna make a box that's nine by nine pixels. It's gonna be quite small like this. But this just sets this height that I want the head to be above. So I'm gonna move it up to here. So there you go. So now the head is nine pixels away from here. And I can delete this guide box. We don't need this. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the head and we're going to go to object, transform and move. We're gonna move it downwards by zero right here. And vertically, we're gonna move it by 21 pixels. Move it right here. So now it's gonna crop into our shape right here. Make sure that everything is horizontally aligned. So it's in a straight line right here. Okay. Then you're gonna press copy. Make sure you press copy and not just okay. So press copy and we've made a copy right there. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna select this shape and this shape right here. You're gonna go over here to your Pathfinder tools right here, and if you don't have that there, you can always go to Window and go to Pathfinder there. And since we have this shape right here in front of this one, we're gonna use this button right here, which says minus front. And if I click on that, you should get this shape. Now, if you change the order of everything and you click that and instead something like this happened, that's okay. Just make sure you press minus front, okay? All right, good. Now we can create a neck, it's quite simple, press M, click right here, and the neck is going to be 34 by 40, approximately, and press OK. Good, the neck is gonna have the same tone as this, but actually I'm gonna just change it just so I can see it as I, as I move it around right here. Okay, I can move this to here roughly, so it's okay, so it's all centered to itself, that's good. And I'm just gonna zoom in right here and I'm gonna add two points using this tool right here. Click on here, the pen tool, and go to add anchor point tool. Click somewhere right here and somewhere right here. Press A, select that anchor point, and move it so it snaps into that position there. And this one, we can move it into it snaps this position right here. And now also, I kind of, this should be pushed up a bit, so actually, sorry. Make sure that this bit is behind your head. But again, just make sure that these anchor points, they snap right there, and that one snaps right there. Okay, now select the shape, right click, 
go to arrange and send it to the back. Okay, now it's sitting at the back there. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select our head right here and we're gonna move it again. We're going to go to object, transform and move. And we're gonna move it down by, I think eight pixels, something like that. Let's try that. Yes, just a tiny bit. And then again, press copy. Okay, good. Now having done that, select your neck and this new head right here and go to your Pathfinder tools and press divide like that. Okay, good. Then we can close that. Now click on your shape, go right click and ungroup. And now select that second head that you have right here, press delete. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use that second tone that we have right here. So I have this light and this dark right here. So I'm going to press I, the eyedropper tool, and give it this dark color right here. And then I'm gonna select my head, right click, arrange, and bring it to the front. We're just moving things around. So this one right here, we're also gonna give it the same color as that. Okay, so this is just kind of a shadow underneath the chin. Basically, we've just rearranged these objects. So again, you see that this object is just above there. All right, cool. Now we're gonna create the arms. The arms are pretty simple. We're just going to use this color that we see right here. We're gonna press M and we're gonna create them right here. We're gonna click and we're gonna make a rectangle that is, uh, yes, let's do 25 by 60, I think. Okay, 25 by 60, press okay. All right, now that we've done that, we have to create a arm. We're gonna move this up right here, but we're gonna readjust in a second. We're gonna create another box right here. We're gonna click and we're gonna make an arm that is five by 15. Okay. Yeah, actually it doesn't matter what the, what the size is. This is just gonna be a guide box right here because I want this to sit right here. This is a guideline for us. And I want this to be aligned to there like that. And it's going to snap. So I just made this small box. This is 15 pixels, just so I know how far to bring this down. Okay. I'm going to press A, select this anchor point, and I'm just going to push it into this point right here. So now we have a triangle like this and we'll adjust this to make the curvature of the arm. Okay. Now we can get rid of this guide bar. We don't need this right here. And we're going to do one arm and then we're just going to copy it to the other side right there. Okay. Now to make the hand or the arm that's sticking out of the sleeve right here, we're just gonna select our skin color right here, press M, click, and we're going to make a arm that is 20 by 33 pixels. Let's try that. Yes, that looks all right. Then we're gonna move it into here, okay? And you want to make sure that it's longer than this point right here, so it disappears in there but you also want to select this anchor point and kind of make it so it looks like you have a triangle shape, kind of like you're pinching out the arm that way. This one, we can just move down like this and we want to make sure that this is also the same length as that right there. Okay, so you kind of have like this triangle shape like that. We can select this arm right here, go right click, arrange, bring it to the front so that disappears it. So this is the hand sticking out of there and that looks fairly, fairly reasonable. You can also make this bottom bit a bit more narrow, kind of like that. Okay, now we're gonna curve the shoulder and um, whatever this bit, the, I guess the shoulders and the, the arm, okay? We're gonna do that by selecting your shoulder area right here. We're gonna use something called the curvature tool. You can press on it right here and click on your path somewhere near the middle, okay? If you click and hold, you'll see that you can make shoulders or whatever. So give it a tiny bit of a hump, like a bit of a circle, not too broad. You don't want to be this, you know, unless you're making a football player, um, just a little bump like that. Okay, so it just curves. It looks a bit more natural than having this straight line right there. Now, what we're going to do with this shape right here, we're going to select it and we're going to go to this tool right here, click and hold and go to the anchor point tool. Okay, then click on this point right there. And if you click and hold, it's going to stretch it out like this, okay? And we want to make it so that it kind of fits the curvature 
that we see along this arm like that, okay? So you're gonna have to move your points around. This is the only bit that you can't kind of do super naturally, but we can kind of adjust it like so, okay? So now you see there's a bit of a hump. It's kind of a funny shape, but actually it doesn't really matter because it flows into one another. Having done that, we can select our arm, we can select our shape right here, and we can go to object, transform, and we're going to reflect this like a mirror vertically right here, okay? And then press copy. Then with that object selected, hold shift and bring it out to this side until it snaps to roughly the same position like that. Okay, you'll find that maybe they don't exactly match. So there's a bit more of a bobble on this side compared to the other one um, because, oh, because I didn't change the, <laughs> because I didn't change the shoulder, oops. So let me change the shoulder. So again, I go to my curvature tool right here. I click and hold and I give it a little bit of a bump like that. And that rounds the shoulder nice and easily. Okay, now this all image looks good, but it's a bit flat. And so we can add one really simple thing to this. We can click on our line segment tool right here. We're gonna give it a dark line, so a black line and a stroke of maybe about three. We'll see what that looks like. Okay, then click right here, hold shift, and that line is way too freaking thick. So, <laughs> but move it up to roughly this point where it intersects. And now we're gonna make that into a one. Okay, that's a bit more reasonable, maybe a 0.75, should be a bit lighter. And we'll make it a bit grayer or something like that. Okay, then having done that, we're gonna create a new line using the line segment tool from this point. And it's gonna go like at an angle like this, just off this top, right to about mm, roughly there. Okay, now this is a bit too gray. I'm gonna make it a tiny bit darker like that. Okay, having done that, go to object. And again, we're gonna reflect this by going to transform, reflect and press copy. And then just move that option, hold shift until it snaps into place right there. And there you have it. You've now created like your base feature, your base avatar that you can play with, you can modify. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in these later tutorials as we continue this project. I'm gonna show you how to create different types of hair, the ears, to change what it's looking like. And also I'll show you how to make a female avatar, but that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. Make sure you check out the other tutorials which will be posted in the next couple of days about this. Um, hit the like button, subscribe. And of course, as always, have a great, Okay.